Hi, everyone. Today is Thursday, October 21st of 2021, and we're here for the weekly crypto review with Muant. How's it going, Mu? Man, it's going great, right? I mean, uh, cryptos are popping off. Uh, people are discussing lots of smart things amongst themselves up on the discords um, about goals, about uh, taxes, cash out, um, coins, uh, tokens, uh, parachain auctions. Um, I could go on and on, right? Um, it's great. It's great to see these things really taking off. Uh, the ETFs have really pushed uh, Bitcoin into overdrive. Uh, we touched into the, I believe, the all-time high on ETH there for a moment uh, last night. Um, so we're just doing great. Things are taking off. Um, I, I couldn't be more excited, really. Um, I wanted to do this real quick, if I can, before we get started. Sure. Uh, this is uh, this is our good buddy Quadruple Tree, but uh, he wanted to alert me to this. So, <laughs> <laughs> that must be your portfolio, where you keep rolling your profits into Ethereum. Like no matter right. what the price is, you just DCA right in. Yeah. So, so I think he's got it about right. Uh, that's about how I'm feeling these days, and it's it's nice to be on this journey with with good friends and um, you know people interested in the same stuff we are, and you know it's just yeah. wonderful I'm having a blast. Having and lots blast. of new people too. I saw a lot of new names this week on um, Rudy Psychic Meetup and uh, on Samnet. Yeah. And um, the we had the Advanced and Premium Live tier last weekend, so the yeah. all tiers will be the last Saturday of October. And then you and I are going to do one for the, just the psychic nerds. Yeah. Um, that'll we be are. our first one. Cause psychic nerds used to be on the Sam Dammers channel. It, we were just doing a test run, seeing if, mm -hmm. if, if it was something that people were interested in. Cause you yeah. know, you never know. Like I st when I started at ask a medium, I didn't know if that was going to be successful or not. And it's just, it's gotten so crazy. I mean, I was at, I fielded 70 questions. That's crazy, it was right? like two hours and seven minutes. Yeah, man. <laughs> I was like, and that was, uh, that was, uh, but I mean, I enjoy it. I'm good at it. I'm having yes. a good time. And listen, and thanks to those people who reported back. Some people um, on the other side of the world, they fell asleep and they couldn't be there to um, spar with me on their question where we go back yeah. and forth. Um, and then I feel like I more get more confirmation because sometimes you don't want to give people ideas about stuff unless you're like sure that you're seeing the right thing or you're translating correctly. And I don't have that opportunity if they don't show up. Um, but here we just feel straight up questions. You, you People can post it. Um, anyone who is a part of the um, Sam Jammer Patreon uh, basic and above has access mm -hmm. to the live stream and they can post a question. And we ask that you only post one question. And I'm only going through this because we have so many new people. So just sure. question, just post one question, but upvote the other ones that exactly. you're interested in. Because sometimes, exactly. and when we get to the point when the rooms are all full, there could be weeks where we have like up to a hundred questions. And at that point, it'll be the upvoted ones that we'll be getting to. So I'm, you know, I do like that system. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Uh, 100%. I, yeah, as we grow, it's it's sometimes hard because, uh, you know, we want to be detailed and um, give people a good answer for their 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 question. But, you know, it can be tough uh, to get to all of them sometimes. So I'm still looking for my costume. I'm trying to see if I'm going to marry your idea there. And uh, but uh, I got to see availability here in the United States, man. Uh, availability of some things is pretty crazy. So well, that would be fun to dress up. though. Yeah, just go with it. I mean, mine is just a makeup job. Because really, cool. on the live streams, you were really only, you know, it's just we're just talking heads. Yeah. So that's sure. why I chose that one where she's got ponytails, yeah. and then the certain makeup job. And uh yeah, and you read the questions, so I don't have to actually see what's going on. I don't have any contacts, yeah. and I don't recall her having glasses, so nope. I'll do my best. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so great. Yeah. Uh, what else do I want to hit here before we go? Uh, just a kind of reminder uh, to the psychic nerds, um, you know, if you haven't made that transition over, you kind of need to do that, um, to the new psychic nerds discord. And, uh, right after this, we'll be doing a, uh, get together, a zoom meetup with the psychic nerds guest stars in the advanced, uh, $25 tier. So I just kind of wanted to mention that, but yeah, you ready, buddy? Yes. Yeah. I'm Tell them to uh, watch for that link that is automatically uh, generated into your email. Remember you have to click off notifications. Same with the 
people here in the live stream. You're Sam Jammers. That's why you're here live. And yeah. don't forget to hit notifications because whenever I have stuff going on, like for example, when I post the advanced plus, I'm going to go into the advanced um, room on discord. And I'm also going to send out a message to all the advanced to say, Hey, I'm opening up advanced plus there should be enough seats there for whoever wants to leave advanced and bump up because there, there are a lot of people who um, still want to be able to attend ask a medium live. And that way there by reducing the number of people who can attend live, I won't keep be getting like 70 questions. Yeah. Any longer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. Let's, let's just do something uh, real quick. I kind of wanted to just hit this uh, and then we'll focus on the questions, but I kind of just wanted to, you know, a lot of people are wondering about their favorite alts and there's a wonderful site here, blockchaincenter.net altcoin season index. And this will kind of show us where we're at. The ideal situation we always want with the altcoins, right? Is that we do want Bitcoin to be going up in price at the same time, the liquidity, is not drained out of your alts. So that's what we hope for. And then I kind of wanted to just scroll down because these are the top 50 performance or performers over the last uh, season, uh, meaning 90 days. There's your Bitcoin. And you can see here um, these items have outperformed Bitcoin um, in the last 90 days. These are the top performance over the last 30 days. And we have several here that have outperformed performed Bitcoin and then uh, the top performers over the last year. So I'll include this link. Uh, people might want to use, start using this as a just kind of a reference point. Um, and it might answer a lot of questions for people. Um, yeah, just kind of interesting. Uh, what else I want to do? And I you'll have that, that link yeah, available I in will. the description. So I'll make sure that uh, people get that, especially on uh, YouTube. That's mm -hmm. really important that it, it be uh there as well because of all the newbies joining and just um, enjoying the free material. I try to get as much out there as possible for free because really when I started in crypto, that is where I got most of my information from, from people and, you know, a lot of techie people as well who would go on and explain things. So, you know, I appreciate um, where your background is in technical. Yeah. I kind of treat these things as a, you know, People come here for your blabs, right? These crypto reviews, but I try and give them some educational things, some tools that uh, um, they can use on their own. Uh, and it helps them just to kind of get familiar uh, with where they're at in blockchain, really. Um, you'll see today that Chainlink is going off here. This is great. Uh, we're approaching that uh, $30 range now. Um, this is just excellent. Uh, if you're a Solana holder and you came in at that 152, you're pretty happy. This is sitting at 181. Um, there's so many things popping off. I won't go through all these, but I, I do kind of want to mention the totals because I see people reference total one and total two, but I don't see people uh, talk about total three much. So I'd like to do that. So total one is the entire uh, market cap. Total two is everything minus Bitcoin and total three and people really into alts might be interested in this one. This is everything you're in total uh, market cap minus Bitcoin and Ethereum. So um, it kind of gives you some unique perspectives here. Um, so anyway, if we were just kind of glancing at the total three um, and the total two here and the total, I uh, kind of wanted to just bring that up. And I'm sorry, I'm on a one minute chart. This probably would make more sense if I back off a little bit. I'll go to the three hour. Um, but it paints a pretty interesting picture. So anyway, I'm going to get out of here and we're currently sitting at the total market cap at 2.566 trillion. So here we go, Sam, let's get into these questions. And thanks a lot, you guys, for all the great questions every week. Uh, we have this one is with 22 upvotes uh, from William Penn. So a very popular question. When the crypto market hits three trillion and pulls back, is there a crypto that people will talk about that does well despite the pullback? God, that was a great question, William Penn. Great you question. Guys think, and you just said, thanks, everybody, for all their great questions. I'm like, oh, my God, no wonder this was the top voted yep. one. See, this is the kind of stuff yep. that I'm looking for, for questions, because that we can check that one definitively. Right. right? right. And I, I like those. Yep. I mean, right, direct to the point questions with a right, tight, direct answer, right? These are the best. Peter Wang uh, with 19 votes. Hey, Sam and Moo, where do you see BTC dominance going? In 2018, alts ran hard for six weeks after Bitcoin peak. Do you see something similar this time? Oh, yeah. Well, we I think we see it now. 
Um, and I'm always happy to see Bitcoin go up because, I mean, what did you guys buy when you first got into the crypto market? Bitcoin, Ethereum. Those are the two things. I I, I bet you anything. And I was like pretty much 50-50 because I remember I had to have Bitcoin and I sent it over to the Bittrex. I'm pretty sure it was the Bittrex where I bought my Doge, mm -hmm. right? Um, so I just had to do a calculation as to how I had to divide up my fiat mm -hmm. currency, but I was buying Bitcoin. So right. that's what we see happening. So what happens is, for example, Bitcoin runs to 67,000, but then it does a bit of a pullback, but it's not because people are less interested in Bitcoin. Exactly. There's more and more people buying it. It's just that yep. prior to the money that came in in the last couple of months is now discovering Ethereum mm -hmm. and um, Polkadot and mm -hmm. Chainlink and... Yep you know, Matic and all of these other great products right. that are, you know, and some of them are at different stages. Like I was listening about um, Alchemex. Mm -hmm. um, Absolutely. And that one um, sounds like that'll be a good one once they get their V2 rolling, but it's just yep. like anything. I mean, they have to go through their audit. They have to, I mean, and so you can buy the Alchemex token, but between now and the time that it actually becomes like successful, as a V2, which is what they're, they're really moving towards, um, you know, you are taking a higher risk in things. And that's why you're able to get some of these coins and tokens at different places. And that's why when new people are coming in, I always try to move them towards and to get to them to put a percentage of their portfolio into some of the cryptocurrencies that are either already um, working like V chain, for example, is a very mm -hmm. inexpensive one that right. uh, has a really great upside and it is actually being used in society today, uh, being used to track the vaccination actually um, mm -hmm. in some cases, as well as bottles of wine and their authenticity. <laughs> so absolutely, know, many different things going on in blockchain. And then you have other things like Cardano, which only just recently was able to add the smart contracts, then the NFTs started taking off. But you know what? A year ago, none of that was happening. So mm -hmm. people are looking for, you know, the next, you know, big name. And that's what we try to dig out a little bit here. But I don't want people to underestimate the value of investing in the current technologies that are in working order, or they have so many developers on them that they can, I mean, like with Arbitrum, they're going to be, there's going to, it's going to be so easy for developers just to go in there and build and plug into Arbitrum. Absolutely. 100%. And, you know, I, I've even seen the same, so I could go on and on. I probably shouldn't. Um, why don't we just, we'll zip through the, the questions here and, um, um, yeah, that's probably best. Number seven says, hey, gang, uh, now that we've picked our horses for the month of October, Dot Matic Reef, what would be the next three to run? I have an additional 3K to invest. Um, I had noticed nervous a uh, little while back, like a few wait, weeks back, but I didn't really want to extend, you know, my mm -hmm. coins and tokens. Yeah, yeah. And I couldn't remember the exact details on it. So when I brought it up and it was like number 1,000 and something, I was like, oh, okay, maybe that's... You know, maybe I was mistaken, mm -hmm. but I wasn't. What I did right. is I brought up the the wrong one. Um, it is higher. It is 24-hour training. It is 52 million. And if you look at it, its high was, it's still down like 52% from its all-time high. But I think um, I blabbed about it when it was like down here mm -hmm. between one and two cents. And it's at two cents now. So still... Yeah, no, it was before it was like probably, yeah, one and one and a half cents. And then it just went straight up. I was like, oh my God, what happened? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, the whole market went and it was just happened to be one of the ones that went up by quite a large percentage. Um, so I'm still watching that one closely. I don't have anything in it, but just back to the question, um, the person who had, I have $3,000 to put in. What do you think? And I'm like, listen, the blue chips are going to go up a lot like a lot, a lot. That's where the first money is going to flow into because you can see already it's starting to flow into Ethereum from Bitcoin, right? So Bitcoin's mm -hmm. at 62, but look, it's flowing into Ethereum and some of the alts. Mm -hmm. So, and then what happens is that after it hits Ethereum, then it starts flowing more into like 
Cardano and well, Solana is up uh, because people are buying, it seems like Ethereum or Solana. Um, yeah. But yeah. people will notice more of the polka dot at 42. And I mean, even Dogecoin is up. You can start to mm. see it um, filtering into the altcoins. For sure. If I had to add one more to that list, I would stick to blue chips. You know, I, I, I would probably throw Link in there if I had to add a, a, another one. Um, yes. That's just kind of my feelings. Yeah. But, and uh, I mean, yeah. Link got hit really hard and it's mm -hmm. still um, lagging because it was running right along with DOT at one point. So that would be, I would say, your best value out of the blue chips there, DOT versus Link. Um, you know, if you're focusing on the multiples and we all know that Link is going to become more and more important as yeah. these, you know, the layer twos and um, cross chain communication becomes even more important. Um, wow. I can't wait till that institutional money arrives in a big way because they're all going to be using this stuff and uh, it's such early days. And we've got one here from Dale with 18 votes. Yeah. Hey, Sam and Moo, I believe one can generally cover living expenses today on earnings alone by simply staking decent bags of Cardano, Tezos, Polkadot. How far down the road do you see these three continuing with the current favorable rate of return? How will it look when adding in future inflation? Thank you. Well, I think five years is good in the sense that I know you're asking about return, but equity is very important as well. So at one point, for example, Polkadot may just be paying a return that is um, on par with whatever inflation is. Mm -hmm. So you don't really make anything other than you're not losing value on your Polkadot. But then what's happening is, you know, at that time when you put it in, your Polkadot might have been worth um, $85, but now it's worth $225, mm -hmm. right? So you get a big lift on the equity part of it as well. So... I believe that Cardano, Tezos, and Polkadot will all sort of fall into that place. And uh, But in the meantime, I mean, it's great. A lot of people are uh, baking their Tezzies and uh, staking their Cardano. Yeah, so just kind of some kinds of thoughts there. You know, one can re receive a pretty nice return just on your Polkadot, right? Just staking your Polkadot, yeah. just like staking your Kusama. However, when you can put that stuff to work, uh, either Kusama or Polkadot, get it locked up and then basically <clears throat> at via crowd loan your polka dot is producing you a bunch of babies right they're producing you a bunch of babies in these individual uh projects that you might be crowd loaning to and eventually you do get your uh kusama or polka dot back so you know everybody's just going to kind of have to think about what they want to do there and apply some game theory to it in economics kit tutoro says hey sam and moo the reef is on fire my question has to do with it staking on mainnet using Clever Wallet mobile app. Do you think it's safe to see any short or long-term problems with it, meaning the Clever Wallet, I believe? As my main concern is Clever's connection to the Tron network. And I know how you guys feel about Tron, especially Moo. If Tron goes down, does Clever go down too with it and thus affecting your reef staking there? Appreciate your blabs and advice as we go forward, onward, and up. Um, I can't make individual recommendations about wallets. I might see if a wallet was going to go down across the board, but you know, Kid Totoro, you could have problems with that wallet or not. I can't say for sure if that will be a problem for you. Adam, Adam Ski kind of pops in here inside the comments, and this is great. And if you guys do want to comment on other people's questions, feel free to do so because sometimes you guys are providing, you know, some background information that's really cool. Adam Ski says, I believe the Clever app is merely just a UI to the Reef console, which is uh, currently the only place where you can stake. You can create a Reef wallet via Clever, but you keep your private keys and can import your wallet into the Reef console using your seed phrase via a browser. Instead, no mobile app needed. So, yes, we are not big fans of the Tron network, um, but the truth is as these things become more interoperable, as these things uh, like like beefy finance, for example, you, you see how many blockchains that's running on, right? So um, that's all I would say. I don't know of anything uh, for you to be concerned about, Kid Totoro, um, is what I'd say. I think it's fine. I, would I touch mm -hmm. Tron with a 10-foot pole? Nope. But, um, you know, if, if this is how you want to stake it, I think it's probably okay. 
Are there any coins in particular in this specific group that you see making a big move during the next two weeks or so? Thank you. From Hoddle Queen, the list was Doge, Vet, ADA, XLM, Link, Supermatic, XYO, and XTZ. Pup. I would say, like, other than the usual, you know, Dot, Matic, Reef, probably, I would say Cardano's, uh, and Link. Link, probably, that's still, that hasn't popped yet, has it? I don't think it has. No, it has not. No. Okay, so Link would be a good one, too, because, yeah, 28, it's only up 12%, so that's not anywhere close to where it should be, that's for sure. Um, I've been talking for multiple months that I thought Matic was going to have a wonderful October. So I'm going to say Matic, just very, very excited. Uh, Link, I'm very, very excited about, as all, as usual. Uh, Vet, I was really excited to see that get a nice pop. So, And I think Super in, in Q4 here, listen, they're coming out with their game, right? In a, in a whole decks and marketplace and all a bunch, a whole bunch of cool stuff. So, man, uh, if I was a person that didn't have any Super, I'd want to have some before <laughs> that game is released. Um, is what I would say. Uh, pizzas, would you rather game? Uh, hey, Sam and Moo, assume that you do not have full bags of the following. Would you rather have 100,000 XLM or 100,000 Reef? Thank you both. Mm. And I do actually, for the record, I do own both of those. Of course, I have more Reef than I have Stellar because Reef is like cost nothing. Mm -hmm. It's like Reef is still less, I think, today than what I paid for my original Stellar. Yeah. So. Um, so what would I rather have? Hmm. I would say probably reef cause I'm big on reef for this month. Yeah. And, and me not really leaning one way or another or not getting a feeling one way or another, I would just follow my Sam, my friend Sam. Right. So that sounds great to me. hundred thousand reef. Hey guys. Um, the time it has come where everyone is calling me about cryptos. I know I feel your pain, J cat. Yeah. Uh, one being my father, he's 65. He has about hundred K to invest. If I set him up a portfolio like this, do you think he can retire in the next two years based upon prices last night? You know, and it's a great little exercise, J-Cat, that's not so much personal, but, you know, everybody would benefit from. And he, ha he has a list there, but it's like pretty much just our favorites. And I would say generally the 100000 that you put in, you know, by sticking to what I consider mainly blue chip, um, I, I'd probably advise you to put a little bit more into Ethereum, actually, where your dad is 65, Me too. right? Me too. That's the thing you have to keep in mind that you got to go with the lesser, you know, and then maybe you can make up for that by putting a little bit extra in Cardano because Cardano is like really super cheap. I don't care what anyone I'm like compared to like as far as multiples go. But again, it's a little bit higher risk, but with all the developers working on it, not so much. Um, yeah. So I would say 100,000 within two years. I mean, I don't know how much he needs to retire off of, but a few exactly. million dollars is not out of reach. And I think even with inflation, if you end up with like four or five million dollars, that's pretty good. But he'd have to ride it right to the top, right? There's no cashing in. You know, Crypto Spartan chimes over here on the side and he makes a valid point. Buy the coins that pay good staking uh, because some of these are quality yeah. coins. Um, and I'm sorry, you just took that question away. Um I would go much higher dot, I'd go much higher link, and I'd go much higher ETH than what you had there um, is what I would do. Digital asset, Jared. Thanks, uh, Muant and Sam. Uh, Samantha, for all you do, when do you see some type of gameplay for Star Atlas being deployed for the public as they continue to build out the metaverse? So as far as I'm uh, I'm, I'm hearing that their, their, their first gameplay is supposed to come here pretty soon i wish i had the timeline up in front of me it won't be the full game but it's it'll be a mini game they're calling it so i would just follow along on their uh on their discord um yeah any thoughts sam well i felt like it was going to be soon i feel like star atlas will be very popular by april of next year so i can't really well, answer when they're gonna be deploying stuff and dates and specific things like that I can just get a feeling about when I see a lot of people playing it. Mm -hmm. And that would be my next spring. So if you're in there right. now, you have a long time to get your strategy right and maybe not get your spaceship blown up. So, because mm -hmm. they're expensive, right? <laughs> um, 
and and Neo Knight pops it over on the side. He says uh, mini game is supposed to be here in October. So I I don't know about that, but uh, that's cool. Um, I I I don't know. I don't know if they're going to make that though. If they did actually say that, because uh, some things are still coming together. Uh, Chris says, uh, "Hey Sam and Moo, when the crypto market gets to three trillion, then pulls back. What will be best to buy during that pullback period? Do you see when that pullback will be? I guess they mean as far as time or a month. I don't know what they're saying. Um, yeah, I think that they're they're like when the crypto market gets to three trillion, they probably want to know like how soon after. But I find that." Um, you can really count on it. Like, look how we ran to over 2.7 trillion. What was our high there, Muant? Did you did you recall? Do you recall? Because it ran so quick. 2.77. Did I see that? Was it like almost at 2.8? I was like, you know, you kind of like, am I seeing the truth here? You know, wasn't yeah. it like just 2.5 the other day? And yeah, let me go look. Let me just pull it up as you kind of I mean, continue. Because yeah, the pullbacks plan. are brutal. I mean, and that's really just going to continue to be that way, except that it'll keep inching further. Because look, our top was before it was like one point or sorry, 2.4 trillion, 2.5 trillion, something like that. And then we had like this pullback, a brutal one, and then it went back up and now it's past the all time high again. And now it's even look at that. It just tanked like by a, a huge amount, like mm -hmm. at what, 150 billion uh, in so a day. Yeah, went from uh, 2.68, so right up near, oh, it could even have wicked up to this 2.7, as you stated, and down to this 2.57 right now. But, you know, if we comparatively look at this um, over a much larger time frame, um, I mean, total's looking pretty damn good, you guys. I mean, yeah. I mean mm -hmm. look at that, right? Um, I, I'll, I'll take this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that doesn't make me sad in any way, shape, or form. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, so I'm just going to say to Chris, that was a great question, but it's going to continue because he wants to know, well, when's the pullback from $3 trillion? And it's going to be like, yeah, it's pretty much going to continue like that. Um, and I was just using as an example that, you know, there could be a huge pullback to like $2.3 trillion. And when I was talking like that, we were at like, I don't know, 1.7 or so my point to people was, you know, keep dollar cost averaging in because that big pullback that I see once we get past 3 trillion, that's, you know, and the other thing too is, you know, DOT, I just said DOT wasn't going to be affected as much. I mean, that's new information. And when you look at the last pullback, DOT went to like $10. So knowing that you're not going to have that opportunity again, we can strategize what we're going to buy and hold, knowing that there's going to be these brutal like shifts of money around, but there's just going to be so much pouring in everyone's mm -hmm. you know everyone you get a car and you get a car right right, right everybody's right. a winner you know? right. uh robert s uh hey sam and moo love the channel and look forward to new shows and it's only been a week since finding great buddy so you're you're new to us i uh, hope you enjoy your stay here uh lots of good people um glad to have you i i bought reef and star atlas we're do the two uh, uh do you see this going within the next six months are they good coins to hodl uh, how do you feel about Wilder World, uh, the Wild Token? Thank you. Yeah, I think we love Reef. I think we love Star Atlas. I think uh, we feel good to have these. Um, and this other token you're talking about, I don't know anything about it. Uh, why, why Wilder World? I don't know anything about that one. Well, let's, I have it up here. So I was going to take a look at that for Robert and give him some feedback on it. I don't know if he's looking at investing in it if someone's brought it to his attention or it's one that he's interested in it's down about 25 percent from its all-time high but you know what the danger the last three months it's gone up like so much i mean what is that two hundred and seventy-one thousand percent <laughs> so yeah so it just it only launched in uh in may and like it's all-time low it was down. Oh, well, how low did it go? Yeah, see, it just did. It fell off a cliff to nothing at one point. But I mean, the number of people see that dip, the number of people who actually own it at that price. I'd be curious to know what even happened to make it like go offline like that. But anyways, um, I'm thinking that there are going to be better deals um, coming this way and that this is too far removed from 
the top 30 or 50 where the majority of the money is the majority of the money really is going to flow into the top right tokens right look right. bitcoin 63 right, right. and ethereum's 4100 so right. ethereum is still getting a lot of the new money coming in and solana is just rocking it look at it go it is and um let's see we've got chain link it's like i said it's up 12 percent, but it's been such a laggard that mm -hmm. you know there's still a lot of room there so that's what i would be looking at instead of the one that uh, robert was asking about just at this point yeah th thanks for saying that because i kind of feel the same way i know there's some communication over on the right hand side where a couple of people are saying that the uh the, the chart looks good but i i kind of feel like you feel that uh there there are some other options that may be um yeah more intriguing yeah um, and to finish the answer to his yeah. question i don't want yeah. to move on without commenting on the okay. reef and star atlas okay um and that because, you know, most people there in the room, I mean, I hold Reef and Star Atlas, and those are one of my longer term hodls. Normally, I would dollar cost average into something like Reef, dollar cost average and into that like crazy, like between one cent and four cents. That's been the range. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That And so that's one of the long term ones that I have. And then Star Atlas, I just put everything in all up front because I happen to be able to get in and buy it like the first day. So I was like, even if this like runs right like crazy and there's a pullback, I'm not going to like lose half my money because normally if you can get it as soon as it launches, you can do pretty good in the, you know, even in the short term. But I did, I bought it to hold on to it for at least two years because I don't really see the masses using Star Atlas until like next spring, really. So those are hodl coins for sure. You, you got time to, I know people are like, I don't want to start dollar cost averaging into something. Um, you know, that is, I, I want to make sure I have time and then it'll go up because you don't want to have like 50 wallets that you got to keep track of. Yeah. Um, thanks, Sam. Really appreciate that. Uh, this is from Wise Growing Tree. Uh, Dear Sam and Moo, you seem very convinced on Moonbeam ICO, which seems to be the token Glimmer. Can you please confirm the name uh, the name confusion. I'm not a fan of ICOs and prefer buying through exchanges or MetaMask. Mostly uh, they skyrocket after the ICO and fall back sharply. Maybe this would be a good time to buy this token for the community. Uh, appreciate your thoughts. So I, 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 I need to clear up some misunderstanding here for you, uh, Wise Growing Tree. Um, let me, maybe I can show some things to help. Um, what you're talking about is, is this, um, Moonbeam um this is already passed okay um and maybe you got confused on the dates i i don't know but there's there's ways to do this uh so i'm trying to clear up the confusion and i don't know how best to do that so <clears throat> we can look at moon river moon river was was distributed via kusama so um if you'd like to do moonbeam then you can partake in the in the crowd loan uh um the crowd loan the the, the pair chain auctions so um so i'm not sure i'm not uh it's not it's not like your typical ico so i i'm not sure it's not like uh back in the day when you would do like ethereum icos right it's a little bit different uh can you buy it on the open market once uh it's available yeah um just like you could go buy the moon river uh that's available on markets now um even though you didn't participate in the crowd loan on kusama and i think this is where a lot of the confusion comes in people need to get very familiar about what pair chain auctions are and what they're not see this if you go to this site and i'll include this yeah so here we can simply look at in comparison over on kusama if you were to put kusama up for the uh the crowd loan you would have got 14 uh, Moon River tokens per Kusama. If we switch this to Polkadot um, and we scroll down, you'll see that these have not been determined yet. So, for example, Moonbeam, it's not telling you how many uh, Glimmer you're going to get, right, um, per dot yet. Okay. So, hopefully that helps. Um, <laughs> Sam and Moo, I'm new to the group and have about 4K to invest. Which crypto do you recommend I purchase? Well, I would have to know um, what somebody already has. If you're new to us or new to crypto, if someone was new to crypto, I would just say 
you know, um, start dollar cost averaging in, pick four coins. Since you only have 4K to put in, um, you know, I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't take like any high risk with that. I would spread it around the blue chips. I would buy like some link, some uh, um, dot, some uh, Cardano, and um, one of the other ones that we talk about that you you know, feel good about that you're interested in. Maybe someone like something like Matic or Reef, that's a little bit more of a flyer. But if you're new in and you're just starting, like, please understand that you've got to be ready just to keep this money in and not don't use money that you need to pay for anything. That's my, you know, biggest tip for people, because I know a lot of people early on, they went like really all in. And so it was very stressful for them whenever there were these really big pullbacks. But I do feel like, again, there's going to be so much money filtering into the market between now and December that really when you're doing like these unknown and far removed coins and tokens, there might have been a time that you could have done really well on those. But you don't have to do that now. You can go into the top ones and spread your money around and dollar cost average it again to the ones that are unloved. Um, for that week. I also like Tezos as well for one that's unloved, but is again, up and coming, especially when the NFTs start to hit again. Um, I think that Tezos will really be taking the front end of that um, along with Super because they're going to be popular because of their game launch. Yeah, I, I think those are all great. I mean, that's exactly what I would say. Your Link, your ETH, your DOT, potentially your Matic, just because I think it's going to do well this month. Uh, and Super, if you ever wanted Super, but that one might be a little bit harder for you to get a hold of if you're brand new, Ashley. That's what I would say. Yeah. Uh, Sweet Home Chicago. Hey, Sam and Moo, any comments or blabs on GRT and VET today? Many thanks. Oh, two of my faves. Um, yeah, definitely. Bye, bye, bye. I mean, VET's up a lot. So I don't know if it's going to get much of a pullback, though, because, I mean, it was under it was around five cents and then it went on the big run and then it got kind of caught around 10 cents for a bit and then now it just seems to be climb and climb and climb and i think we're going to see it go back into the 20 something it really wants to be there in the 20 something cent range it wants to break out of the teens yeah um, so yeah i'm i'm loving vet um i feel like it's a really sort of low risk um, investment where it's already established. Um, the graph is still, again, in very early days. Um, it's not being used as much as it's going to be used. Um, congratulations to the, those of you who got in when we got in at 25 cents. Yep. <laughs> yeah, there's wonderful yeah. FA. Um, the graph is expanding its hosting services now, yeah. or hosted index services to Moon River. What what does that do? It gives them in a, in a layer zero type of way. It gives them access to Polkadot and Kusama ecosystem. So this is big news. This is great. Yeah. This oh, that's huge. Want. Yeah. Absolutely. And I mean, so it's that's a steal as well. Um, I don't know which one is going to go first. I feel very confident holding both. And um, if somebody you know, said I have, you know, a thousand dollars, which one should I put the thousand dollars in? I would be like, you know what? This is one that I would be like, split them, split mm -hmm. the thousand bucks. Cause I feel as good about one as the other. They both sure. have a lot of really positive attributes. There's so much good out there happening in the market right now. I cannot tell you guys how excited I am for your futures. That's great. I love that. Uh, Arcane Voodoo says, Omi, Go or XYO? holding a bag of 100K, which of these is better a better choice and why? I do hold XYO. So, of course, you know, that's a standout for me. Um, it's a good price right now, like around $0.03. Cents. It cooled off a bit. It ran past $0.05. Cents. Like, it went 10 times pretty quick, I'd say, but then had a little bit of a pullback. So I still think that XYO is a good deal to be had. Um, eco economy... I see when you said Omi, I didn't know which one that was, but I, I know, me. Yep. I know Ecomi. Um, Ecomi, what do I say about that? It's, it's popular, but I really, you know, I wasn't interested or drawn to it, I guess is, mm -hmm. you know, what I had to say about Ecomi. There's so many, there's so many um, NFT platforms, you know, coming out. There's lots mm -hmm. of competition there. I find though with XYO, what I like about that is that, I, I'm not aware of anyone else doing the geo mapping. There was one other project, but I don't like to reference. 
Because <laughs> well, there you go, right? Fake it till you make it. Remember that fake it till you yeah, make yeah. it one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Raul says, "Hey, both, uh, although not very active, I've been proud member of this community for over two years now. Thank you very much. Oh, congratulations! Yeah. Ethereum is uh, doing very well at this moment. How high do you see it going in this bull run? Thanks. Um, twelve thousand. Yeah." Um, I would say that sounds great to me. I could, I could even see it. Uh, you know, it, it is exhibiting the same cycle that Bitcoin had the last cycle, right? So, um, sixteen to twenty uh, would be really, really. I'd be really, really happy um, if we could get there this cycle. Um, hey, Salmon Moop. Any of the following NFTs worth investing in? And then there's one, two, three, four, five. So let's do this. So the first one is uh, Solana. Uh, it's on the Solana network, and it's called uh, Shikari Sharks. And how much are they? You're going to make me do work. You're going to make me sore. It looks You're like 6.4 thousand soul. Uh, 0.31 Solana. Okay, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Uh, yep. Let's just go off this. Let's go off the floor price. Let's do that because that'll be easier than doing all this uh, stuff. So yeah, right. uh, let's just say the floor price price is at point uh, three one soul. So right. at, I, let's guess uh, at 180 bucks. I don't know if soul is at 180, but maybe times point three one equals uh, 53, 55. There you go, 55 yeah. 20. So um, yeah, that's you know anything where you're just throwing like 50 bucks you know, $30, $50. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, I, I still feel like these unknown ones um, are, you know, it's going to be very much hit and miss. Yep. Uh, typically you'll see on NFTs, if you're not specifically knowing what you're buying, but you're doing the spray and pray method, like you're just shooting all over the place, you're going to lose a lot more than, than you win just to let you guys know that's how these work. But anyway, yeah. uh, let's go to the second one. Secret Duck Society. Secret Duck Society. Oh, that's cute. I like them. Um, I don't know how much these are. These sold out at Mint. Um, you didn't give me a link for a marketplace. So um, I don't know. Uh, this is also on Solana. Any thoughts, Sam? Yeah, I don't know if long-term those will make you money. I see a lot of people like might buy like one of these sharks or secret ducks. Um, and if they miss the opportunity to sell and that's, you really have to decide, okay, you know, am I out of here at 10 times my money? You know, I'm going to list this at 10 times. That's what I'm willing mm -hmm. to go for. Mm -hmm. Right. And then when the market goes on a run and, you know, but if you see that they become popular, then you can always pull yours back and, you know, wait for, um, mm -hmm. A higher price you have to you have to pay more attention i guess than what i'm willing to do that's for sure these moose tracks mm -hmm. are uh, 0 0.035 eth uh is their floor i don't know not too excited about this no me neither it um, just looks really like i said it, they just look really junky and yep i don't think too many people are going to be interested i would join their um exactly their communities this one here probably is more likely to be popular out of all I the agree. ones I've seen so far. This yep. one here, you might be I able like, to make a little bit off of that. And I don't know anything about the communities, but I do like no. this art a lot better, especially this guy right here. So if anybody wants to buy this for me, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. And this last one here, um, Evolving Forest, uh, the Evolving Forest Genesis at 0 0.09. Eh, cool art, but not that interested. Like Sam said, right? Yeah. These NFTs, this is where people get this wrong, is it's you're buying into a club or a community. That's what yeah. you're buying. Um, and people are really purchasing an NFT for exclusivity, right? Like I'm buying a membership pass to get access to people that I want to interact with, or it's a great community, or there's other opportunities um, delivered inside mm -hmm. those communities. So it's kind of like my entry ticket to the cool, cool person club, right? And, and that could that could mean all sorts of things. So just randomly grabbing NFTs, uh, good luck. I, I don't do it that way. So any thoughts, Sam? Yeah, I agree with that. As I explained before, the NFTs that I'm going to have created, and I'm getting very close to that, um, you know, doing the commissioning now. Because um, <clears throat> I had to decide what we were going to have, like the first 10, what they were going to be pictures of. 
Um, you know, but those I'm going to have some value attached to them. And I feel like that's why people will buy them because it will give them, you know, special entry to a live stream, something like that, that or an after party, mm -hmm. you know, though mm -hmm. there will be a value attached. So if you are not buying NFTs that are done by like either a well-known artist or up and coming, you know, cause you'd have to do your studying there. Yep. Um, I would say, take a look at the, you know, the NBA, the NFL, the baseball ones, the um, hot shot ones, those ones have the better upside opportunity as well. You know, where you could pay like $18 for one and end up, you know, getting $180 for it, like mm -hmm. that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of people <clears throat> like to do this as a project and it's fun for them. Hmm. Let me uh, let me go over here to Lori M. Uh, Lori M's question is: uh, There's a few new listings on Coinbase. I'm curious to know if you have any strong feelings about any of them. First one is Arpa Chain, A R P A. Next one is Bounce Token. Next one is Function X. Next one is Jasmine. Next one is Perpetual Protocol. Lori M, I've been a huge fan of Arpa Chain and a huge fan of Perpetual Protocol for a long time. Uh, the rest of them, eh, don't know. Sam. I had not heard of any of those. And um, did you say that it was ARPA chain and mm -hmm. is it perpetual per protocol that you yep. said? Now, I didn't, nothing stood out on the list there for me except for perpetual protocol. So you Good. and I would be the same on that one. I just kind of, sometimes I'll just, I'll be like, haven't heard any of these, but then one will stand out to me. So mm -hmm. it's part of a grand experiment. What does that mean when it stands out? I'm going to assume that it's like, hey, that's going to be a good one. And so then that makes me want to look it up per perpetual. Per, there we go. It's number, oh, it's number 117. So that's not too bad here. Let me just show you my screen sure. so we can all look at it together. All right, $15.91. It has a very healthy 24-hour um, trading volume, which is really great. Uh, it looks like it's easy. I love it when it's easy to add stuff to your MetaMask. Mm -hmm. That little thing exactly. you click on here, I just go boop. I just hook exactly. up my MetaMask. Or you can just copy the address right there and then go to your MetaMask and do the add token. Some people were asking questions on uh, Facebook why they couldn't see certain tokens in their MetaMask. So yeah. I was yeah, telling yeah. somebody, like Rudy says, you just have to know more than the next person. Exactly. You don't have to be an expert. I was just like, hey, this is how you add the token. This is the easy way, the lazy way. Perpetual token. Oh, look at it. That looks very healthy. Look at that. That support's really nice. I mean, mm -hmm. especially where it sort yep. of seems to be stair stepping up. And it's on a it's on a downswing too from September where it was 2165. Because you know, you hate to buy in at the higher number because you can get more down here at the um what was it? It's yeah, it was 2165 and now it's only like 1590. So you can get more right now if you get it. But again, you know, um, I try not to have like too many of these types of coins and tokens because you never know when they're going to move. And I'm just a long term hodler and I'm more focused on the other stuff. But I realize that people want to know about these other up and comings. And sure. it's nice if we can do a short list on um, that one, two, three, four. Yeah four or five tokens and mm -hmm. it's all good. Yeah, man. Uh, Bill D. Hey guys, do you think it's worth taking a flyer on Shiba Inu? <clears throat> oh, come on, Muant. Give it up. You got some Shiba. I already did my public service announcement for Shiba last week. So I'll keep my <laughs> mouth shut. Um, can you make some money in this? Uh, yeah, people have made some money. Are you going to get rug pulled? Can you get out in time? Uh, people telling you that this thing is going to absolutely astronomical numbers can't do mathematics um, and they're fake psychics. So I don't know what else you want me to say. Um, that's what I'll say. Yeah. Yeah, that's just me keeping my joke. mouth shut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is <laughs> this is me making a joke out of it because it's just getting to that point now. I mean, I'm a hodler, so I mean, I don't know what to say about that when people present me with like these trading coins and stuff. It's like, uh, you know what? If you made money off of it, you know, good for you. And do I think it's worth? I mean, I'm not. I don't own it. I'm not putting my money into it, but I'm sure people will make money off of it. But uh, you know what? I bought Doge a couple of years ago. I don't have to buy Shiba. 
Exactly. 100%. Matt Zelenko uh, has got his uh, weekly question here about all things rhyming and, uh, and strangeness around XRP and dates. And let's do it. Dear Daring Duo, as per blockchain backers analysis of the charts, when BTC tops XRP explodes, historical records prove... Let's entertain the thought that on October 28th, BTC tops 3 trillion reached. After several hours of euphoria, BTC drops rather down deep and hard. Scared alts follow down within 12 hours. 2.3 trillion is touched in silence. On Saturday, October 30th, it's a holiday weekend, National Trick or Treat Day at around 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, time XRP explodes while all market is in a state of temporary yet genuine paralysis. And he continues on below. Listen, I'm not even going to read the second. You got you got like three other parts to this. Uh, Alts recover soon after driven by XRP's magic. Um, he thinks that XRP is going to explode over the ho Halloween weekend. Any thoughts, Sam? Um, I would probably lean more towards December. I just feel like, um, you know, it's come up in the blab quite often. The last few months that people need to um, pare down their XRP wallet size because then then it doesn't matter, right? Then you'll be like me, just here with your cup of tea. You'll be like, oh, well, you know, December. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, I'm good. Cheers. You know, I'm good because I don't have like 50% of my portfolio. Guess what I do have? Oh, I got some Dot. Oh, I got some ETH. Oh, I get, you know, it's like, oh, I got some Matic. Now I got Matic. Thank you very much. Um, you know, I got Vet. Oh, I got, Car oh, I got Cardano. Do I have Cardano? But you know what? <laughs> I don't have a whole lot of XRP. And the last few months, the it was like the people on the other side were circling back again and telling people, like, you know what? You don't have to get rid of it all, but you don't have to have 50% of your portfolio in XRP. And there's a, and, and I mean, and I don't want to tell somebody to dump it and buy something else. And then it rockets the next day. I mean, that's my worst nightmare. And I mean, thank right. God I'm not giving crypto advice to anybody. I mean, I'm a psychic medium. I mm -hmm. have no problem sharing with you guys, like what I'm buying, because that's what people want to know. Hey, what are you buying, Sam? Tell right. me, oh, what price do you think you're going to jump off at? I mean, you do what you want, right? We're all in different circumstances, but I have absolutely no problem sharing my blabs with everybody. I mean, that's what we're all here for together. You guys ask the great questions, right? Mm -hmm. Now I'm like, oh yeah, even Dot's going to, that, that, I hadn't even thought to ask that question of the people on the other side, which one is going to be like the safest um, boat to be in, you know, how you abandon ship and then you want to make sure that you got a good sturdy lifeboat. And it seems like Dot, for example, because of William Penn's great question, but mm -hmm. this is the blab that's coming out as a result of Matt Zelenko's question. So thanks again, Matt for your question. And I think the information here from the people on the other side is that other cryptocurrencies are really going to take off a lot. Um, XRP is not going to do so great right now, um, but it will later on, like probably by December and stuff. Like I'm still holding my XRP. I'm not selling it. I'm just, again, very concerned about people becoming completely obsessed when it's going to take off and hit, you know, new highs because, and I feel their pain because, you know, some of them might've even paid 40 cents or 70 cents for some of their. And, and I feel XRP. like they've missed this entire bull run. Yeah. I mean, they've missed it. They've been. Yeah. It's like Litecoin all over again. Um, not quite yeah. as bad. Yeah. Uh, and Gret uh, says uh, there are rumors that Tether did invest in Evergrande. Uh, is that true? We actually covered this on the Psychic Nerds. I'll go first. I do believe that they had some exposure to that commercial paper. Um, but uh, what does it mean? I don't know. Not overly concerned. Uh, your thoughts, Sam? Well, I didn't know if they did or not. I felt like they didn't. Um, okay. And it's more, well, it's more along the lines that I don't feel that it's going to affect Tether. Yeah, me neither. I mean, um, they just printed their money anyway, so... Oh, well. Yeah, exactly. You know, they're like Fire. people who make all this money on Bitcoin and then they just go and buy shit, co shit, shit coins with their money because they made such they made their money so easily and then they just go out and buy. So they went out and bought Evergrande with their money that they printed. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, that's a great way to explain it. Fire Dragon uh, says, hey, Sam and Moo, what's your take on potential jump off points for micro coins? Ecomi, UFO, and Baby Doge. 
Uh, could Ecomi hit 50 cents to a dollar within two years? Much love. Thank you. I think any of the survivors, um, you know, could be looking at that range of stuff. I don't think that Ecomi is going to be one of the top performers. Um, I'm not feeling anything for UFO or Baby Doge, so I can't comment on those. I wonder if those are, are those just ERC-20s that people have created that there's really no developers. People need yeah. to understand that, you know, someone like me, I could just go out and just create a coin and right. list it on Uniswap. And yeah, uh, UFO is a, a great gaming coin. It's a pretty good gaming coin. You know, if you were in it over, you know, I, I was talking about this one over the summer. Uh, it's done really, really well. Um, you know, once again, I would say to you, do you play the game? Do you, are you interested? Like, is it something that you, is a community you want to be part of? Would you, would you participate in this ecosystem? Even, even if you weren't getting paid, um, if, if you can answer yes to all those, then it's, it's probably a good one for you. Um, but you know, if you've already made 400% in a coin and, um, you know, sometimes when you're out here in the, the solar system and you're playing and you get a four or 500% gain, I mean, why not dump that to a blue chip and lock in your winnings? Is how I feel. Um, and I think that's all I want to say about that. Huh. It says that it's two, it's almost 2.7 trillion on CoinGecko. Am I mistaken? Wasn't it just 2.5? Or you these, were looking at a different. Uh, as far as price? I was looking at market cap where the market cap is almost 2.7. Cause you know, we're on 3 trillion watch, right? We mm -hmm. could by, by tomorrow we could wake up and the market could be 3 trillion. Oh, I got you. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I was just talking about UFO. <laughs> oh so. no. UFO is, is uh, I, I recall now you bringing it up and I was just looking at it when you were yeah, yeah, talking yeah. about it and I was like, Oh yeah, that looks yeah. like it's having like a regular lift yeah. and yeah. it would probably be a good one like to hold for a long time. I mean, you, you've used it, you like it. Or All selling the blue chips ones. if you yeah. pay 600% and you'd rather have a, you know, one of the top five, do it. Yeah, I think it's better timing right now to be, you know, and normally I, I have no problem with telling people to go for like number 470 if it's a good future one and the price is really cheap. But I just feel like right now so much money is flowing into Bitcoin and just at record speed is flowing out of Bitcoin and into Ethereum and then into alts. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, got a new one here about pre-search. Um, hold on, I've lost my place. Hey, Sam and Moo from the Queen of Royalty it says, Hey, Sam and Moo, I've been holding pre since the 2017 ICO. It's related to BAT and with intent to give Google a run for its money. It's doing well currently. Do you see this as a sell off and run or a long term hold? Um, well, I would say that it would definitely have to be a long-term hold. Um, I do not think that it's a good idea to hold this like right now where the market is running like this, because again, you know, this one is ranked, you know, almost number 400. Mm -hmm. So I would, you know, I would move my money, you know, if you held it all that time and now it's gone up so much. So I'm glad you didn't sell it off because it's one of the ones that has recovered. But um, the money is going to be flowing into yep. the the higher ones. So, you know, if you're looking at, you know, making a better return, I would um, I would make a move. Off. I would. Yeah. Your, your gut feeling, Queen of Royalty, to do a sell off and run was correct. Yep. yep I agree. That's exactly what I would do. Yeah. Uh, look at it as just a unique opportunity to actually get some of your money back uh, and be yeah. happy and go yeah. um crypto believer sam and moo i wanted to see if you get anything on early coin on an early coin that was brought to my attention to check into it's called centrifuge curious what sam gets and if matt uh, moo knows anything about this i actually used to be pretty um interested in this and used to follow the tech quite a bit but i haven't in multiple months does it have a solid future thanks anyways as always and happy october to both of you happy october to you as well buddy any thoughts on centrifuge CFG? Uh, I wouldn't put my money into it. No, I, I wouldn't be interested in. Uh, I mean, it looks like it's super, super busy. Like it has a lot of people mm -hmm. working mm -hmm. on it. 105 yeah. repositories, actually. So yep, a lot exactly. of busy, very busy sort of 
in yep. the public. But I mean, most people, again, this one here is barely, it's barely listed. It's uh, 24 hour volume is only 620,000. And I'm just taking a look at that nice juicy market that we're in right now. It is exactly. October. Um, you'd be missing out big time if you didn't. I mean, yes, of course, there's going to be like a few unknowns that really skyrocket. And I don't know exactly which ones those are going to be. But I do really feel drawn towards, you know, our blue chips that we're holding right now. Because again, you know, as more and more companies want to add cryptocurrencies to their balance sheet, not just Bitcoin, they're going to go shopping and they're not going to be buying number 187 on the list, right? Guys, I think the good ones, we already know what the good ones are. And, um, you know, this has not really recovered. Uh, I mean, the, when this launched, it was nearly 16 bucks. It's sitting at um, $1.96. Uh, I, like I said, I used to be interested in the tech and some of the things around this, but there's just your good ones are already going. They're starting to go. Right. So I don't know. I just I don't know. Rise and shine. Hey, Sam and Moo, which one of these crypto best to start dollar cost averaging now? Super or Matic? I would do both. Yeah, because they're both Matic's mm. going to go on a big run and super is launching when you say December. So, again, you know, they're both going to be win big winners. Yeah uh freaking crypto says uh hey can you provide thoughts on telcoin and how they are going to do against the facebook remittance announcement using uh the novi wallet or novi wallet uh, i've got nothing to say on that freaking crypto sorry but oh, it looks like it went on a big huge run and it just kind of settled back it's down about 70 percent from its all-time high it has a curious trading volume it's quite high the trading volume Let's see, number 100. I think that that one is a survivor. Uh, XX says, uh, what do you think about music platforms like Audius or Rhythm? Uh, I think they're great. Uh, these things are just kind of at the beginning, though. Um, so, um, but I, I think they're interesting. Uh, that's where I'll stop. Um, XX, are you a musician? Uh, if, if you are. Maybe go get registered up on those platforms, right? And see how you like it. We were also looking at Rally a couple of weeks back, right? That Rally token that allows Twitch streamers and musicians and coaches and all sorts of things. You can you can create your own token there and that your own token because you're providing some sort of information or service or something else um, or content. Um, you're... Your token, your XX token would basically trade um, amongst people and they would get, uh, with your token, they would get access to stuff. So just kind of curious. I, I'm actually really interested in that one for some reason. Rally, I think it's very unique. Sam? Um, I like uh, the two, Audius or Rhythm. I like Audius out of the two. I, yeah. But like you said, I do agree. It's early days. Mm -hmm. And because it's so far down the list, isn't it like a hundred and something? I think Audius is pretty low down on the list. I'm just going to look. It's number 122. So my memory is serving me correct there. It has a great volume. Um, it's very healthy. It's busy. Um, you can just throw it on your MetaMask. So it's easy to find a place to put it. Um, it's not back at its all-time high. It's still... 60% down from that. So, you know, it, it's checking all the boxes so far. It's just that again, oh my gosh, now we're at 2.7 trillion. The market just, I'm just looking at it here. I'm like 2.7. Wow. Rari's just been killing it uh, at 46 bucks right now. Super wow. sits 77. Yeah. Uh, that looks like it's retraced a little bit. Link is right around 28.80. Ooh, the graph. Nice. Uh, 91 cents. Um, yeah. Solana 183. That's pretty slick. Uh, boy. Ave 318. Um, crowns. Uh, this is a gaming token we talked about a long time ago yes. at $8. That's good. Right. Um, let's take a look at this total. Um, do, do, oops. I got to, I got to look at my buddy ETH here before we go too far. A uh, 4118. Okay, cool. And then I'm just going to scroll down to the total. I've got five, uh, 2.58 here. Um, the way uh, CoinGecko calculates it is different. To, um, but anyway, um, yeah. Cool, cool. 
stop sharing there. Next one, um, Young Ninja says, Sam and Moo, in the gaming sector, we have seen some positive news from big players like Epic Games, open to games that support cryptocurrency or blockchain-based uh, blockchain assets. When do you see some of these big established companies, Activision, Blizzard, Electronic Arts, and games launching or incorporating cryptocurrency into the mix. Thank you. Well, I think it's going to happen really soon because earlier I alluded to seeing April uh, and I think it's, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's of next year. And I just, and it showed like all of these kids play in the game, you know, where they stand there and there's like groups of them and they have the TVs in front of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's, that should be around the timeline. Cause you know how they all fall like dominoes. They all look and see what the other ones are doing. And then they're like, should we be looking into this? And then they mm -hmm. look into it more and then they're like, Oh, they've got tower. So we're going to go for chain guardians or, you know, crown or something like that. Or, or, or UFO like these are, they're going to try to um, pick up ones that they can buy out because they don't want to create their own. It's too hard to get developers. Um, this next one is from Barton Com. Uh, what are the best two Q Labs to buy this month? Well, I still think Dot is uh, one of the best Q Labs to buy, and uh, Bet would be the other one because that, you know, it's retraced back back again, and it's still quite a bit below when it ran to twenty seven cents. So I would say those two, Barton. Natalie says, hey, Sam and Moo, I always watch your videos and value your insights. My question is for the LSS token. It's called Lossless. It seems to have a great utility in returning lost crypto or preventing hacks. Do you see a bright future for this token? Would love your thoughts. Well, I'm, I'm wondering about their claims and how realistic they are. And also it's disturbing to me when I see that the total um, market cap is like 43 million mm -hmm. and the trading volume for 24 hours is like 29 million. So the majority of it, like that always shows me that it's dangerous. And also in just in the last 30 days, it's gone up like 805%. But it's also had like a big correction back where it's all time high was two dollars and sixty one cents and it's already fallen like I think within a three days it's fallen twenty five percent so again, you know a few people got stung on lossless if they fomoed into it um I'm looking at it and I'm like, yeah, now that for a twenty four hour trading volume is thirty almost thirty one million out of the forty. 4 million market cap. So again, I just, when I see stuff like that and I'm not getting any feeling other than, Oh, stay away. Yeah. I don't think there's really any there, there when I, yeah. when I look at this, that's the feeling I get. And uh, we don't typically do this, but uh, part two, she wants to know about phantom. Um, any thoughts on phantom won't have a parabolic run like soul. Actually it already has, right? I mean, all the smart contract real, Layer ones have experienced yeah. what we call every week the Solana effect, and Avalanche has done great, and uh, yeah. FTX has done, or I'm sorry, FTM has done great, and uh, Terra mm -hmm. Luna is starting to do great. So, um, any anything else for her on that one, Sam? Um, so you want to know if FTM has some more upside in mm -hmm. a big way mm -hmm. from it, and I would say yes. I would say yes, it does. I, I, I'm taking it as that question. Does it have mm -hmm. another big upside, another big? Yeah, and you know what? A lot of them do, actually. Mm -hmm. So there's going to be lots of opportunity for uh, everybody who owns different cryptocurrencies. Like even watch Cardano go. That one's going to go on mm -hmm. a big explosive. It's probably going to double, you know, and then people are going to pile onto that. And then other people will find other tokens. And then those ones will go up big. I mean, it's it's just... For the next couple of months, it's going to be pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. um, I agree. Um, next question. Thank you both. Can you check out a token called XPR? Proton XPR has made some decent moves. If you check out the website called protonchain.com, has a video of the CEO, Marshall Hayner, which includes guest Raul Paul. Thanks. 
Uh, yeah, and it's down 60% on its from its all time high, which was over a year ago. Um, yeah, so they were just working away on it. Let me just bring it up this on the screen so you guys can excuse me, see what you're looking at as well. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, it's number 224. So yeah, it's down 10%. Um, and it's 24 hour trading volume is not crazy compared to its market cap, which is 328. Because that, you know, like I said, I always look at that, see if I can get some feelings from the activity that's going on. Um, and it's down 60%. Oh, it's one year is 279%. So yeah, there's still a lot of meat on the bone for that one. And the only thing, again, that I would say about Proton is that I do feel like the bigger upside is with other coins and tokens. But where you win with this one is where it's not even four cents. So if you you could buy like a large number of them with a very small investment and then just put it away, you know, like just put it away, put it away for a year and see what happens. And, it, you know, and you could regret not having it, for example, in Ethereum when Ethereum runs or Cardano when Cardano runs, but any of these types of ones that run later on, I mean, it's hard to time them. So, you know, rather than repeating myself and being a broken record, I'll just tell you that if you want, if you own it and you want to hold it, awesome. You're probably looking at next year before it makes like any headway that people are hearing about. Um, and again, you know, right now with, with the, um, the big money coming in, in the next 12 months, it's, it's really just going to flow into Ethereum and Cardano and Dodd and Solana and all of those top ones, not so much Proton, I don't think, unless they have a buddy who runs Visa, for example, and, you know, like those are the exceptions and I don't see anything like that. I just think that these guys will make it, but it's just going to be old fashioned hard work and timing and some patience. Thanks, Sam. Uh, we got about uh, 10 minutes left here. I'm just, I may skip around uh, this one. I'll go in order for now. Johnny, be good. Hey, Sam and Moo. I'm so very grateful for your expertise and sincere guidance in this wild frontier of crypto investing millions. Thanks. Literally. I just saw a video on crypto TV. Uh, from October 19th, talking about XRP to pop. And near the end of it, he talked about the Pulsar token. It's a rebasing coin promoted on Telegram. He was sponsored by the team and states it could mathematically reach a value similar to Bitcoin, true or false. I'm going to say false. false. Johnny, be good. Yeah. Yep. Thanks for that great question, Johnny, be good. I'm sure other people had questions about Pulsar as well. So there we go. Neo Knight, hey Sam and Moo, thanks for all you do. The company Candy, uh, MajorLeagueBaseball.Candy.com, has been licensed by the Major League Baseball to create NFTs. Do you or your guide see this doing well as as well as the NBA Top Shots, or just well in general? Um, I would say uh, well, like the Top Shots, and uh, Candy uh, is well known. That we the corporate the corporation that I used to have my franchise with. They use candy. So, um, cool. You know, they're That's just cool. They're running in the same, they, they're, they know what they're doing. So, I think that they'll do well with that. And, um, you know, and this is the, this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about versus yeah. the, what I consider crap NFTs we were looking right. at earlier. Exactly. You know, like those kitty cats, those stood out. I was like, oh, that sure. style of art is popular and people might go for that. But it's really about the community. But other than the community, which there's only a handful of communities, right? Exactly. Exactly. If you want to actually invest at, you know, I, if you can get in early on that Neo Night, you can probably do well. Thanks so much for sharing that. And the, he's got the link there. So I don't know if you want to throw that in your description. Sure. Sounds great. Yeah. People can look at that because they don't see the questions and they don't see the chat. So, yeah, I wanted to address this uh, Coinbase 2 firing up there. They're getting people registered. I think they're almost at 2 million users now <laughs> registered because uh, uh, to use the NFTs on Coinbase. Uh, mm -hmm. I'd like to remind everybody that the benefit of a, a platform, for example, any marketplace is not the products. OK, it's not the products. It's the users. So why is eBay so important? It's the amount of users that use it. Right. Um, so. We're seeing 
the Coinbase pre-registrations, the early registrations just dwarf any of the other NFT sites just because Coinbase has a massive amount of users. And I saw that Coinbase just signed a deal with the NBA. So um, more beers didn't ask this question, but I wonder how this is going to affect, uh, you know, one of the projects he loves is that uh, that NBA Top Shots on Flow. But uh, really cool, really, really cool. Um, Sam, do you believe that the Coinbase entities are going to, do well just for the sheer amount yeah. of users you know yeah it's just you can't you can't that's why people get so excited when like when x.yo was like listed on kucoin you right. know as these big exchanges are added and accessibility increases then people get even more excited so that it's the same with the nfts thanks sam uh here we go does start atlas still look like it's going to reach a dollar by the end of the year Oh, I think so. I mean, look, we see the market is rising and you have to see that. And the reason why hodlers do so well is that we just wait. You know, we know that it all goes through the different, um, you know, ebbs and flows. Right. But instead of just trying to guess it, we just spread our bets and we patiently wait. And then when we get to our sell point, we sell it and then maybe we'll move it into what we feel is the next up and coming. But we only make the decision at that time. We're not we're not into trading. I can't even imagine what kind of nightmare my portfolio would be to try to figure out right. if I was into trading instead of just hodling. Um, you appreciate that when one of the exchanges is like, oh, your account's been flagged. You have to show us where you got the money from. And it's so easy. You're like, oh, yeah, I just checked back to 2017 because it went from here to there to there to there. And that's it. Yeah. Simple, simple, right? Yeah, man, for sure. Um, Truth Seeker says, hey, Sam and Muant, uh, you had mentioned there would be a pullback before the next leg up. Do you get any date for this pullback? Gosh, I, I think it pulling back to 2.5 was <laughs> that 200 billion. I mean, I just feel like it's just going to, I think he's talking about like the big one though, but that'll be so quick as well. I just wanted to tell people that these are going to happen um don't wait to get in because when i was talking about the big pullback from three trillion we were only at like you know we were much lower than we are now but i still encourage people to dollar cost average in because trying to guess which cryptos will, will be affected the most versus i mean the idea is you want to get your a good price now and i'm telling you like there's stuff that you know even if you have a big pullback i mean look card there was a pullback cardano didn't see a dollar 15 again you know, it went to right. over three dollars. Now it's right. like, you know, the cheapest you're gonna you could get it was like two dollars and ten cents, I think. You know, it didn't see the right. one dollars again. I don't recall that, but that's my point about you know, these big pullbacks, it's not necessarily gonna affect your cryptocurrency. A lot of these pullbacks are affecting Bitcoin. And mm -hmm. remember, I don't I didn't see, you know, it being a case of King Bitcoin. I saw a case of it eventually, you know, yeah, it's gonna go crazy and it'll go high. But it'll bring the alts with it so that Bitcoin might go up by like 1.8 times. But, you know, your favorite alt will probably go five to 10 times. And then Bitcoin melts down. The altcoins melt up. I mean, but exactly when is that going to happen? Soon enough. And in the meantime, even with the alts out running Bitcoin in the, in the shorter term as well. I mean, I think that we're making some good decisions here as far as the timing goes. And I don't want people to worry about the pullbacks because again, trying to figure out your timing and which crypto you're going to, you know, get stung on. It's really hard to guess, especially when, you know, you're talking to somebody who's a, a bigger pitcher uh, medium, but you know, I mean, I do get stuff that comes up in the blabs, just like, you know, dotmatic and reef being good October choices. Yeah. Thanks, Sam. Um, Stan says, uh, will Digibyte run this year or will it be a later runner? Thank you both. Um, I think that it will be a later runner, Stan, and I'll tell you why. Um, you know, it, it was coming up a lot recently, the same as me telling people to um, lower their bags of XRP, for example, months ago. You know, it was like, you know, when it ran, I was like, you know what, now it's an opportunity for you to lighten your XRP load so that it's, maybe it's only, you know, I, I try to get to talk them down to like 20% of their portfolio from 50, right? Um, Digibyte, I've been beating that drum for years now, you know, to people who had millions of Digibyte. I'm going to continue to beat the drum, get rid of it, sell it, you know, keep just, you know, 50 or 100,000 of them, 
um, as a long-term project, but the rest of the money you're really losing. It's, you know, it gets to the point that the opportunity cost is too high and most people don't have the kind of money that they can just sit on and watch everybody else become millionaires all around them. I mean, it's too frustrating, right? So, yeah. you know, yeah. Let's do two more questions, okay? More Beers says, hey, what's happening, y'all? Uh, hey, Moo, do you think the existing NFTs will be able to incorporate the new smart NFTs, uh, real-time data that feeds into their artifacts? Uh, for example, all those assets that run on the flow token chain, or will that feature only be able to be included in newly constructed NFT class? Actually, bud, I think they will. Uh, I think when we, you know, it will just be when we think of software, right? Any software evolves over time. As the smart N NFT stuff starts to evolve, it will probably be something like this. You can hold the original one and just hold it, or you can trade it in for a new smart, shiny, smart NFT. Um, I, I kind of, I kind of feel like that's how it'll go. Or as long as you're holding that, uh, that quote unquote older NFT in your wallet, you're just drop the new one. Uh, I can see that happening. So that's what I would say. Um, any thoughts there, Sam? Oh, no, I have no thoughts on that one. Unfortunately, I'm the no lady on that one. That one went <laughs> over my head. I was like, I kind of get what's going on there, but sure. I couldn't get any information. On yeah. It, which is why I completely get why even people who might have the gift of second sight, if they didn't spend 30 years in finance, I'm now real. I'm like, oh, yeah, exactly. That's, right. that's why I like to study cryptocurrencies and try to learn as much as I can about blockchain, because I I want to understand what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. I, I told Alana I would read her question, so I got to stick to my my words here. Hey, Sam and Moo. Sorry, Tinkerbell. The one you're asking about, um, we can talk maybe more about that later. Um, hey, Sam and Moo. According to the channel on a logarithmic chart for ETH, the top of this channel is 18,000 for ETH in this cycle. Do you see ETH hitting 18K before the next bear market? I may say sell a little bit to try and buy a little bit <laughs> back cheaper. Oh, um, I think that actually the top end for Ethereum is about 40,000. Um, I'm probably selling off most of my Ethereum. I have, um, I have some that I have to keep for a year because I only sold it. I only bought it with my Doge profit. So it's not even a year old yet, but I have Ethereum from, you know, a while back and I was going to sell off that at 12,000 and keep my other two nodes at, you know, and just hold on to those. But 12,000 is actually my limit just be just because it's such a stupid amount of money. I mean, oh my God, I'm just going to buy a house with it or something. I'm going to buy something. Right. I'm going to buy something with it. I don't, I don't know. I haven't even I, decided yet. I'm just I like, think, okay, I got to press the button. This is, enough. I think I may, I may as well. Yeah. Maybe we'll go shopping together. Let's do that. Yeah. 12,000. Yeah. We, right. Exactly. We can, we can, so, you know, I'll see stuff that I'll be like, yeah, that's not for me, but hey, that's in an area Moose looking at. So, yeah, man, you know, very, very cool. Um, gosh, I think we should wrap it there, you guys. Uh, oh, yeah, let's wrap it there. Uh, thanks so much, you guys, for your questions. Uh, great questions. And uh, I'll see you guys right now over at the live stream thing and uh, tomorrow on the Psychic Nerds thing. At and I will get that Psychic Nerds uploaded um, ASAP afterwards. Cool. And hopefully it's working okay for everybody now that uh, Vimeo has uh, figured out what is going on with their yeah. platform with uh, Patreon. We had a little bit of difficulty there, but again, you guys are so patient with us. Thanks again for helping out with the feedback and looking forward to um, seeing everybody. The, the next like really big one that we have other than the weekly crypto review is we have the all tiers on uh, Saturday, the 30th oh. of October. And then you and I will be doing the psychic nerds ones on the 31st. So that's going to be a busy Sweet. weekend. And I am going to be taking some time off on November 1st that week of, because I'm going to, to take my son to my yeah. brother's place, minimizing, hopefully belly migraines will be minimized yes. so we can stick with our road trip plan. That's the hardest thing about driving. You can't, can't drive when your kid is puking. So. Yeah, man. Yeah, <laughs> oh, <boy. poor> kids. <laughs> Anyways, thanks again, everybody for hanging out. And I look forward to seeing everybody, um, all the psychic nerds and, uh, I'll get that posted this weekend, but in the meantime, I'll see you on the Discord.